Do you stream directly from your console? Do you want to be able to add overlays, alerts, and music without having to have a PC or a capture card? Well, in this video today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can add overlays on your Xbox stream without the need of those additional softwares. Let's go ahead and dive in going on it's your boy santana with lines among sheep where i bring you guys the best streaming tips and tricks if it's your first time here and you want to learn how to improve and grow your stream and personal brand make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload a new video every single tuesday Knowing how to add overlays to your Xbox stream will add a huge boost to the look and feel and the experience that your viewers actually have. Console streamers have always been stuck with either no overlays or having to invest in a PC or a capture card. By the end of this video, you're going to learn how to use Livestream Studios to add overlays, alerts, and music to your stream to improve the overall experience. All right, so the first step we want to do to be able to go ahead and accomplish the goal of having overlays on your Xbox stream is that we want to go ahead and go to Mixer.com and secure a Mixer Pro subscription. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is come to Mixer.com. Once you're logged into your actual account, you want to select more and you want to select Go Pro. So the Mixer Pro subscription, what it allows you to do is that it's going to allow you to have access to a lot of the beta features, which is going to allow you to have overlays and alerts on your Xbox using Lightstream Studio. Now, I feel like the $7.99 is well worth it instead of actually having to invest in an actual PC and a capture card when you're first getting started. So you're able to go ahead and get a Pro subscription for $7.99, and then all you simply have to do is is set up your overlays and that's it once you go live your overlays will always be there as your stream grows you can go ahead and start investing in more equipment a pc a capture card um to avoid having to pay the 7.99 uh, every single month so uh, once you decided on uh, taking this following step, you want to go ahead and select Get Pro for $7.99. All right, we're super excited to welcome to the Pro Club. Just going to go ahead and sign up for this, okay? Now that you go ahead and sign up, it's going to say, hey, welcome to Pro. Now you have an actual Pro account. So the next thing we want to do is you want to come and click on your profile and click Broadcast Dashboard, okay? Here, you're going to see now an option where it says Lightstream Beta, right? So it says Lightstream Studio is a web-based streaming tool. This is what we're going to use to be able to add overlays. So you want to select Send My Mixer Video Feed to Lightstream Studio. And once you've done that, click Save. And now um, we can go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, now that you went ahead and activated your actual Mixer Pro subscription, we want to go ahead and access the actual editor so we can start adding overlays to your stream. So on Mixer, come to your broadcast dashboard, and here you want to scroll down and select Edit Lightstream Studio. Okay, so now that you're here, this is going to be the editor where you're going to be able to add overlays, alerts, music to your actual stream. Um, and once you set this up one time, every time you go live on your console, your overlays will automatically appear. And so this is going to be what you're going to see as soon as you come into Livestream Studio. Um, once you've activated it on Mixer, your Mixer feed is automatically going to populate. And this is what's going to be seen when you actually broadcast. Right here at the bottom, you're going to see the audio. This is going to be the audio that's going to be playing. Um, so most likely, if you've already set up your webcam and your microphone on your console, um, and if you haven't done that already, I have a video showing you how to get started streaming from your Xbox directly to Mixer so you know how to add those additional features so check that out then you're going to have here to the right these additional scenes now these are scenes where if you want to have a be right back screen if you want to have a starting soon screen or an intermission screen this is how you go ahead and add those additional screens that you're able to switch between so what you want to do the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your xbox and you actually want to go ahead and start your actual broadcast okay so that way you're able to see live what's going on so you can make these edits correctly so for the sake of this video i'm going to use a screenshot and we're going to say that this is my live broadcast right so i am currently live on my console so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add an actual overlay so you want to go ahead and come to this actual plus sign and select image 
Now here, if you have your own custom overlays, you can upload your own custom overlays to be able to add to your actual stream. If you are interested in getting custom overlays done in the description of this video, you will see a email to Brian who did all my overlays. If you guys are interested in getting some custom work done. Otherwise, if you're just like me, when I got first started, I like free. So we can scroll down and go down to where it says mixer overlays. And you'll see here all the free overlays that are available to you. So you can select the mixer overlay. Then you can select any of the overlays that are currently available here. So let's say, for example, I want to use this one. And this is going to go ahead and populate it directly on the actual stream. So you can see here, and this will showcase live. Okay, so this will showcase live. Um, on the actual on the actual stream if that's something that you want So let's say for example, this is the overlay I want to use now this overlay is showcasing on my stream Now if you want a webcam overlay, you can come back to the plus symbol come back to image scroll down to where it says mixer overlays and You can select a webcam image and you can select it here and you can size it and edit this to fit within your actual webcam. And now you have an actual webcam overlay as well. So it's just that simple to go ahead and add these overlays and customize and add new life to your actual stream. So get creative with that, play around with it and add as many overlays or designs as you please. Now, I want to show you how to add another scene, right? Let's say, for example, I want to be right back scene. So I'm going to go ahead and click add scene. I'm going to click the plus symbol. And once again, you can always add your own custom overlays. Otherwise, the live stream has overlays you can use. So you can come here and you see here they have a be right back one. So now you have a be right back screen. So these are ways you can add overlays and switch between these. Now, if you don't want to have your computer or your browser open to be able to switch between scenes, you're able to go ahead and do this directly from your mobile. And I've put the link in the description uh, of this video showcasing you how to access the actual mobile scenes um, from, from your mobile device. So the next thing I want to show you guys is how to go ahead and add alerts and music. So let's go ahead and dive right into that. Before we move forward into how to add music and alerts to your actual stream, go ahead and comment below and let me know if you're new to streaming or is there anything else that I can help you with to help grow and improve your actual stream. Comment below. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and add alerts to your actual stream. So what you want to do is you want to go to streamlabs.com and the link will be in the description and you want to go ahead and log in with your actual Mixer account. Once you've gone ahead and logged in with your account, you want to go ahead on the left hand side and select alert box. Now, this is where you're going to see all your alerts, your follow, subscription, donation, hosts, stickers, merch, etc. And if you guys are interested in me going more in depth on how to actually customize these alerts, go ahead and comment below in the video. So for the sake of this video, what we want to do is we want to go ahead. Once you've customized your alerts, you want to go ahead and see this link where it says widget URL. You want to go ahead and copy this actual link and you want to go back to Lightstream studio. And once you're in Lightstream studio, you want to go ahead and select add layer and you want to select third party integrations. You want to scroll down and select stream labs. And now you, that URL that we just copied, you want to go ahead and paste that in there. And now these alerts are going to pop up on your actual stream. So you simply want to go back and you can literally select test follow. And you see here now, okay, now you have alerts that actually pop up on your actual stream and you can customize them and move them wherever you see, please. And simply that's how you go ahead and add alerts to your actual stream. So if you guys are interested in me going more in depth into uh, customizing these alerts, make sure you comment below in the actual video. So next I'm going to show you guys how you go ahead and add music to your actual stream so we can make that stream just a little bit more enjoyable. Okay, so a simple way to go ahead and add music to your stream um, so that way your viewers are more engaged and, and have more enjoyment while they're watching you play is by going to Bautismo.com. Once again, the link will be in the description. You want to go ahead and log in with your actual Mixer account. And once you've logged in with your actual Mixer account, what you want to do is you want to come to the left-hand navigation and select Music Player. Now, right out of the gate, 
your music player will be blank. So you can simply go ahead and add musics directly from a YouTube video or a playlist uh, from YouTube and just drop the link here and the songs would appear, would appear there. Um, if you want to go ahead and use some non-copyrighted music, you can just simply go ahead and add to the queue. And this is going to go ahead and automatically add music to your actual queue. Now, in order for us to go ahead and add this and for it to play on your actual stream, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and view music player overlay. So you want to select this here. And this is going to go ahead and provide this overlay. Now, there's going to be a, a URL link that's going to be available at the top bar. You want to take that URL link and you want to come back to Livestream Studio and you want to select third party integrations. You want to select Batismo and you want to go ahead and paste that URL we just copied with the music. And now you can see here. OK, let me just go ahead and lock these here. And you can see here that with the Batismo overlay, you can move this wherever you want. Now, if you want the videos to show while you're actually playing on Batismo, you want to make sure that live mode is enabled. OK, that way you can go ahead and see the actual video. So if I were to play this. OK, you would see here that on my live stream, now the video is showing and the video would actually show on your actual stream. Now, let's say, for example, you want the music to play, but you don't want this to be seen, right? What you simply want to do is you want to drag the Batismo overlay behind your picture, okay? Now, how you have this laid out is going to be based on how it appears on the stream. So if you want your, um, you know, alerts to be visible, you want to make sure they're at the top. If you want your Batismo to be visible, you want to make sure it's above everything else on the actual stream. And simply once you have that playing, now you'll have music playing on your actual stream and you can get creative and add any kind of music that you like. And if you want your viewers to be able to request music, you want to go ahead and hit edit song request and you want to make sure that this is enabled. And once you have that enabled, your audience will be able to request music. It will get added to the playlist and play directly on stream. And that's how you go ahead and add music to your overlay. So I've showed you guys how to go ahead and add overlays. I've showed you guys how to go ahead and add alerts and I've showed you guys how to go ahead and add music. And those are the three core elements that you need to be able to take your stream to the next level. And of course, your creativity is going to add to that. Now that you know how to add overlays, alerts and music to your Xbox stream, how do you improve and grow? I've created a mixer streaming checklist with some handy tips to get you started off on the right track. The link to download the checklist is in the description below. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe, and share it with a fellow streamer, and comment below with helpful if this video helped you. I'll see you guys next week. You know the motto, hustle, live, repeat.